Keith, is this really oh. necessary? Oh, God. Woo! Yes. Yes, Corey, it is necessary. Very necessary. But we really have important things to do. Uh, I mean, hello, and welcome to your character education. Uh, Gummit, the cord! Is the, this, this is the, the cord won't reach, Corey! The cord won't reach! Seriously, Keith, we just need to get going with it and jump... Extension cord! I'll be right back! Yeah, well, like I was saying, um, this is where Whoa. you come to learn this month's big idea. It's a word that goes inside of you to change the world around you. Yeah, and Corey, I got the cord, so I'm good. I got the cord, I'm gonna plug it in. I got the extension cord. Right. Corey, did it arrive? Did it arrive? Yeah, did it arrive? Yeah, it. What are you talking about? My limited edition spring warm pocket. Your limited edition spring warm pocket. Yes, it is filled with flavors of spring. All shoved and crammed into a tiny pastry package. It's like a warm picnic on a grassy field in your mouth. That's gross. No, Corey, it's amazing. It's amazing. It didn't arrive yet. Oh, wait. I hear something. The door's knocking. Special delivery. Woo, yeah, yes. <laughs> yes, it is here. You. Can, can we go into the teaching? Yeah, but Corey, look. Here it is. Here it is, Corey! We gotta feast on this. I, I think it might be a little bit rude to eat while we're doing the no. character word. No, Corey. I must eat into it right now. It's just too delicious to wait, Corey. It's too delicious to wait. What if the... Okay. You, oh. Do you know what you're doing? Yeah, we're just gonna put this in. For about 45 seconds, Corey. For about 45, 45 seconds. seconds. Well, I think on the box it says that it's supposed to cook for like two minutes and then oh, cool forget. for like five minutes because it gets pretty hot. And okay, I guess while this cooks, we can just uh, jump right into our, our word and we can learn what we're learning about all no, month. No, Corey. No, 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 no. no Let's Corey, do it. Count now. of three. Count of three. Um, drum roll. Drum roll. Okay. Three. Two, one, patience. You gotta repeat it. Patience. Oh, patience. Is waiting until later. Is waiting until later. For what you want now. For what you want now. And I want it now, Corey. Kay. I want it now. <laughs> oh. Remember to wait for it to huh? not get too. Huh? Ah! 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 <laughs> ah! Whoa! Whoa! Um, oh, God! Okay. Oh. Yes. yes. Um, You're supposed to uh, wait. Uh, no, stop. Uh, Don't oh, eat yeah. another bite. Corey. Corey, I can't wait! Oh, oh God! Oh, it's burning my mouth, Corey! I can't wait! Okay, okay. Can't wait! No, no, why don't we read the definition oh, one more time? Oh, God, Corey! Oh, God, go for it! Go for it! Oh, oh, God! Oh, yeah. God! What, what? Patience is waiting! Oh, I can't handle it, Corey! It's so hard! I think this is oh, what God. Where we're trying to teach. Painful! It's painful, Corey! If this doesn't teach you mm. about the value of patience, oh, God. I don't know what I it is. I need the water! Today's, oh. Today we're oh. going to learn... I need the water, Corey! <laughs> okay, let's no. go get you some water. Oh, God, we'll God, learn God, the big God. idea eventually. <laughs> Have you ever seen one of these? It's called a map. Instead of using phones with GPS in them when I was a kid, which I know was a long time ago, this is what we used to figure out where we were going. Listen, I, I remember going on trips in the car. One person would drive, one person would use the map to navigate, and I had a very special role. I would sit in the back seat with no DVD player or iPad, and I would ask the question over and over and over and over again. Are we there yet? The classic question that every kid asks and every parent hates. I had a couple of other questions too I was really good at as well. <laughs> Is dinner ready yet? Can I open this present early? 
All of which were followed by, here it is, it's classic, please. I know you felt it because I felt it. Here's why I'm good at those questions. Sometimes it is really hard to wait, right? It's just hard to wait. It's hard to wait when we're bored or hungry or really, really want something bad. But patience is one of the most important things you can practice as a kid. It's a skill you'll need for your whole life. There's even research that says that kids who can wait for things become more successful adults. It's a big deal. Learning patience isn't just about not annoying your mom or your teacher by being whiny. Patience is waiting until later for what you want now. Come on, let's all say it. Patience is waiting until later for what you want now. We'll see you next month. Be patient. Okay, I think the camera's on. Yep, it's on! Red light flashing! Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Hi there! I'm MC Haggis, the world's greatest Scottish rapper, and this is my beatboxing partner, Seamus McFamous. He's the fastest beatboxer around. Wanna see it? Go! <laughs> Lightning! Anywho, this month, we're learning about patience. Waiting until later for what you want now. And let me tell you, me and Seamus are showing some major patience right now, isn't it right, Seamus? Hi. You see, today is our cameraman Steve's birthday. And we have a surprise plan for him. He's not here yet. That's why I had to turn on the camera myself. Isn't it right, Seamus? Hi. <laughs> yeah. And we have these awesome streamer poppers to use when cameraman Steve gets here. But we're so excited about firing these babies off that we're having a hard time showing patience. Now, now remember, Seamus, wait until I say the code word before we shoot off these streamer poppers, okay? <laughs> hey, you forgot the code word. Oh, what, okay, the code word is a surprise! No, 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 no. You don't shoot these off until I say the word surprise! Hey! No, no. You don't shoot these off until I say the word sir. The code word. When cameraman Steve gets here. All right? Now, uh, I want to fire these off as much as you do, all right? All right, but we got to show some patience, all right? I know it'll help. Let's rap about it. Kick it! We're about to just go bonkers if we can't use these streamer poppers. It might cause us to feel frustration, but we'll just have to show some maturity and not give in to firing these off. So we're waiting until later for what we want now, and that's patience. Yeah, <laughs> word, yes, booyah. That's how you do it. Uh oh. What have we done, Seamus? What have we done? Let's get these up! Let's go! Whoa, Steve's coming! Come on, we gotta put these streamers back in this. It won't go in! Oh! Yes. Surprise! Alright. Thanks, guys. Uh, so you turned my camera on, huh? Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Yeah. He hurt my back when he patted me on my back. Like my, my scapulas are like touching. Can you? I don't even know what you're doing. Let's go over that big idea one more time. Repeat this after me. Patience. Waiting until later for what you want now. That's right. You know, patience is a pretty awesome big idea, but it can be a pretty hard one to put into practice at first. Hey, Melissa. Oh, hey, Tucker. How's it going? Great. Can I show you something? Uh, we're sort of in the middle of something. Can it wait? I was going over the big idea. Great. This is going to go right along with it. See? What does patience have to do with March Madness? You can't wait to see if your team wins? Ha! <laughs> this is not about college basketball. It's about Pee Wee. My neighborhood finally agreed to let me on the Pee Wee basketball team. I thought they 
said you were past the age limit. Yeah, it was weird. But when I tried out, as soon as the coach saw me play, he said there'd be no problem with having me play with preschoolers. Anyway, that's not the point. Remember back in January when we talked about managing my time, making a commitment, and sticking to it? Yeah, sure. You said you were going to make a commitment to practice basketball every day. Yeah, and I did. I got to tell you, I got to tell you, it was hard. I didn't just need commitment. I needed patience. Mm. I mean, it's been a long, long, long time. Finally, I'm a pro basketball player. Well, peewee basketball player. A pro peewee basketball player. Anyways, it's been an eternity. Um, you know, Tucker, it's, it's only been two months. I mean, some people work years on becoming a player. Years? Are you kidding me? Years? That's, that's forever. I can't wait that long. Here, let me show you what I've learned. I can finally spin it on my finger. Cool. Oh, goodness. Okay, it was working at home. Are you kidding me? This is impossible. I've tried forever, and I just can't get it. I'll never get it. Whoa. Hey, Tucker, you'll get it. You just need to have a little patience. Wait until later for what you want now. Keep at it, and I'm sure you'll do great. I tell you, what, why don't we move on to our next video and you can keep working on your basketball trick. Hey kids, I got this letter in the mail today with the stamp and everything. Totally retro. It's from Henry in Florida. I didn't think people actually lived in Florida. I thought they just went for spring break or something. Nope, he's got like a real address and everything. Anyways, it's hot down there, but Henry has more than one reason to keep his cool. He says, Dear Zachary, me and my friend Joe were pretty excited when Mom let us stay by ourselves for a whole hour while she went to the grocery store. We promised we'd call her right away if we needed her, or if we needed 20 bags of Cheetos from the store. But she was only gone for five minutes before we got super hungry. Hungry enough to eat a whole pizza. Hungry enough to eat a whole dinosaur. <laughs> but that's when I remembered this really awesome banana split milkshake me and mom invented. It's super easy. You just throw everything into the blender. So I've never actually used a blender before, but you just press one button, right? Joe thought we should wait until mom got home, but I was hungry now. I mean, you only press one button, right? What could go wrong? And so I turned it on and set it to super shred torpedo pulse mode. And that's when mom walked in. So I spent the next hour on cleanup duty and me and Joel just had to settle for plain ice cream until the dinosaur showed up and ate it all. Guess I should have waited till mom got home after all. Dude, never get into a staring contest with the dinosaur. They always win. Plus, if you're anything like Henry in Florida and don't learn how to keep your cool and wait it out, a dinosaur may come and eat all your ice cream too. So just remember this, never blend alone. Oh, and also, patience is waiting until later for what you want now. Dude. What's up everybody, I hope you're doing awesome. I have a really awesome game that we're gonna play today. And it's gonna require you to demonstrate some patience. It's actually a very simple game, but it's gonna put your patience to the test. Okay, so who wants to play? Awesome. Everyone who wants to can play and we will see everyone here today who will be the winner. But what you got to do is pretty simple. You simply stay seated, sit patiently and look this way. You will sit patiently for one minute and whenever you think one minute is up, you quietly stand to your feet. We're going to test and see who can stand to their feet the closest to 60 seconds. You guys understand? After I say go, simply stay seated and quiet until you think one minute has passed. And let's see who is the closest. If you are still sitting when the minute is up, you didn't win, but that's okay. If you were the last person to stand, congratulations, you win. And if you stand, then two seconds later, your friend stands and then the timer goes out then your friend came in first and you came in second. Are you guys ready to play? Awesome. On your mark, get set. The timer begins 
now. Did you guys have a good weekend this weekend? Yeah, I know I did. Went to some baseball games, hung out with some friends, went to a couple of restaurants in town. It was a good weekend. Yeah, I watched some good TV. Anybody watch any good movies lately? Raise your hand. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Woo-doo-doo. Anybody listen to good music? I mean, I can't really dance, but I like to think that I can dance. Yeah. Anybody standing yet? I don't know. Maybe you are. Maybe you aren't. Ooh. Anybody going on vacation during spring break? Anybody looking forward to spring break? <laughs> yeah. I know for me, man, me and my family, we're going to the beach this spring break. I can't wait to go to the beach. Maybe you'll get to go to the beach and you'll just hang out. Done! Your minute is up. Wow. Congratulations. That was harder than I thought it would be. You definitely are learning all about patience, even with that silly game. So let's check this video out. Deuces. Here we go, here we go. Yes. Defeated. Did you see that? I did it, I beat him, I did. Hey kids, I'm Lawson, and I just got the new Star Trooper Galaxy Wars game, and it is awesome. So, you guys don't mind if you wait there for a few minutes while I finish my game, right? Cool. Alright, be back in like two minutes. Lawson, camera's on. Just one more game, Mom. We've got three minutes until I've got to get the cookies out of the oven. Okay, fine. It's okay, because i got an awesome story to tell you guys anyways. You might say it's a bit of a tall tale. <laughs> so, I've got this friend named Joe who has a little brother named Danny. And Danny hasn't gone through his growth spurt yet, so he's like, not tall. Uh, like, really not tall. But, Danny is super excited today because his mom said for snack he could have his chocolate bunny from his Easter candy. And we're talking like a big bunny. Like a big bunny. But mom has put the Easter candy on the top of the shelf. And even for mom, it takes a step stool to get up to the top. But today, Danny can't find the step stool. So he goes and he checks with mom. But mom is on a work phone call. And Danny's like, I need the chocolate bunny. And mom says, yes, just wait two minutes. So Danny waits. And he waits, and he waits, but mom is still on the phone. So Danny decides, I've got this. So he goes and he builds a ladder out of a chair and a cooking pot and whatever else he can find in the kitchen until he's prepared for the climb. And Danny's like, here it goes. So he climbs all the way up to the tippy tippy top. And there it is the Mondo Chocolate Bunny. And just as he's about to reach for it, his foot slips and the ladder topples and, and Danny comes crashing down to the ground. And then his mom races in and shouts, are you okay? And Danny's like, I think I broke something. And his mom says, you should have waited. And Danny's like, um. Yeah. So then she goes and gets an ice pack for Danny's head. And then they sit there and they have the chocolate bunny for snack. Along with all the cat fur that it picked up off the ground. Yeah. <laughs> so kids, unless you want a hairball, it pays to have patience. Waiting until later for what you want now. Which reminds me, I've got some galaxies I've gotta conquer. All right, level eight. Hey, Lawson. I'm gonna need you to come help me in the kitchen. But mom, I've waited for so long. I just wanna play the game. You know, you're right, okay. All right kids, I'll see you guys next time. I gotta go help my mom. Well, it's the time of our program where we talk about the big idea. For today's story, I have a very special new tool. It's the life remote. I can pause, rewind, or fast forward anything. It's awesome.
him. And it's going to teach us a lot about patience. So why don't you guys repeat this after me? Patience. Waiting until later for what you want now. Patience can be difficult. I mean, sometimes it's hard to be patient with others. Sometimes it's hard to be patient with yourself. Sometimes it's hard to be patient because a situation that happens is just out of our control. Unbelievable. This is completely out of my control. Whoa, what's the matter, Tucker? Well, what's the matter? My coach just came by. He said, he said that we had one too many people on our peewee team according to some new league rule he didn't know about. So I had to step down since I was technically over the age limit. Can you imagine? He gave me this ball as a gift. How dumb is that? Really? It sounds like he really is sorry. He can't help it if the league has a new rule. And the gift was a nice way of saying he was sorry and hoped you'd understand. Yeah, but I can't play. And I don't want this ball. This is the worst. Hmm. Pause. Isn't that cool? Like, he paused. <clears throat> um, so see what I mean? I can pause anything. See, Tucker seems to be having a lot of trouble with this month's big idea. He wants to learn how to play basketball, but he's not showing very much patience. Let's rewind to that moment that Tucker was talking about in January. Hmm, okay, um, rewind! <laughs> Wow. Well, I know I want to maximize my potential. Just think, if I stick with this commitment one day, I could be a real basketball player. Pause. So this, I just, I love it. Um, so here's the part where he realized that to accomplish his goal, he needed to show commitment. In that moment, he knew he wanted something so much, he realized the wait is worth it. So now let's fast forward to today when he was talking with me earlier. Okay, um... Years? Are you kidding me? Years? That's forever. I can't wait that long. Here, let me show you what I learned. I can finally spin it on my finger. Um, okay, this is... Oh, are you kidding me? This is impossible. I've tried forever and I just can't get it. I'll never get it. Pause. Hmm. See how quickly Tucker lost his patience with himself? When we lose sight of what we want later, it makes it harder to wait now. So, let's watch in slow motion. Play. Oh, I'll never get it. A little patience would go a long way for Tucker. The same is true for us. We don't have to be so hard on ourselves. Maximizing your potential means giving yourself some room for error and growth and being patient with yourself. So let's go farther ahead. And fast forward. Pause. Isn't this cool? Remember earlier when Tucker wasn't just impatient with himself, but with others? Let's see what that looks like when we get impatient with others. And play. You take forever. I need to know now. I can't take it anymore. I just can't take it. Pause. Slow-mo? Sure. I just can't take it. Pause. See what I mean? This is what it looks like when we don't treat others right and we get impatient with them. All right, and fast forward. So, what about when it's not us or others, but just situations? Let's see what Tucker does. And play. Yeah, but I can't play. And I don't want this ball. This is the worst. Hmm. Pause. Sometimes things don't go according to plan. But a lot of times, if we wait, we can have later what we want now, as long as we make the smart decisions. I've got an idea that just might help. Play. Yeah, but I can't play. And I don't want this ball. This is the worst. Wow. Uh, you really want to just call it quits? Yeah. I mean, I thought, you know, be patient, give yourself time. Other people can help you. It'll work out. But it's not. It's too hard to wait. I know. It is sometimes. But it can be worth it in the end. You really think so? Sure. Hey, 
I've got one more idea. I'm not really supposed to do this, but I've got this cool remote here and it can literally fast forward time. I could push a button on here so you could see what having some patience could get you. Really? That sounds amazing. Okay, fast forward. This time, years into the future. There. Oh, I finally got this spinning on the finger thing down. There it is. Oh, I can do off the shoulder and onto the other shoulder. Oh, my favorite, behind the back. And pause. So that's what it looks like when we let patients maximize our potential. I should probably get him back to normal. Um, rewind. So that's patience. Waiting until later for what you want now. Where's my teeth and my denture cream? Oh, I may have pushed fast forward. <laughs> Gotta go. When Ashley said she was coming home as a surprise for dad's birthday, I was excited. Then she said we were going to make a cake together and it got even better. She's so good at decorating. She taught me a lot. But then the hard part came. We had to wait for dad to get home. And wait, and wait. I got so hungry. That cake looked so delicious. I knew I could probably take one finger full of icing and maybe no one would notice. It was so hard to wait, but I'm glad I did. And thanks for helping me be a part of all the fun. Olivia. When my dad first put the give, save, and spend jars first in my room, I thought it was a great idea. And I still think it's a great idea, but there for a while it wasn't easy. I wanted the XT Dirt Hog Flyer Bike. It's blue metallic, mag wheels front and rear, and is everything I need to rip the skate park, or the trails on Landers Hill. Every week, I put my allowance in the jars and added my money I got from doing some jobs around the neighborhood. And every week, I counted all up and checked to see how much more I needed. It seemed like there was something else I could spend my money on. Video games, scooter, new building sets, season pass to the water park. I had enough money to go ahead and buy that stuff. Then I would have to wait longer for the bike. Dad said it was my choice. The XT was totally worth it. Got a ride, Josh. You know, Keith, even adults have trouble with patience at times. Things around us happen so quick and we just get so used to it. Fast internet speeds, mm. fast drive-throughs, and Netflix, we can watch the shows we want instantly. There are important things in our lives, though, that require us to wait. So being patient, it's one of those skills that we need. So let's repeat this word and definition one more time. Okay, I'll Ready? repeat it after you. Okay, patience. Patience. It's waiting until later. Waiting until later. For what you want now. For what you want now. It will be hard to wait, but we're going to wait until our next time we'll see you. So we'll catch you next month. Hey, Neil, do you want to go and play on the playground? No. Everything I need oh, oh. 